Welcome to my YouTube channel, Sky High Horse Racing. Today we're previewing uh, Ledbroke Park Lakeside. The track is ready to good for. I think it's going to play very evenly. It, I think you'll be able to make up ground from most anywhere on the track. Uh, let's go find some winners. Race one is a two-year-old maiden that will be run under handicap conditions. This is the market headed by Touch of Navy at 380 and Toronto Terrier at 420. Start effort of Toronto Terrier at Caulfield jumped well and settled midfield and was comfortable for the for the race uh, and then made a three wide move on the turn but the inside horse no diggity had already kicked and, and nicked off uh, and I think that uh, if he settles if he can go to the front he'll take a lot of running down. So I'm with Toronto Terrier, Prince of Caro in for second, and is a place chance, Space Shanty in for third, and Touch of Navy for fourth, but I think Toronto Terrier should go to the front and be too strong for this field. This is a market for race two, uh, healing game favourite at 240 for Jamie Carr, stick it together the second favourite at $5 for Zach Spain, and Sir Phoenix at 550 for Brett Preble. This is the last start effort of Stigger together at Pacman, where he jumped away fairly and settled in a midfield position. Got off the heels of the eventual winner in Bow 9, halfway up the straight. But that horse was too strong, gave a good kick and won well, and was drawing away late. Stagger together was only beaten by three quarters of a length and was on turns with the winner shortly after the line. I think if he has any luck. I'm with Stagger together. I think he'll go to the front and be very hard to beat. Healing game in for second has the J Calf back to so run well. Sir Phoenix is a good horse and he'll go well. Uh, Ocean Rider in for fourth, but I'm with Stagger together to go to the front and just win. Uh, but having said that, Sir Phoenix is the place bet for me at five dollars. I think it looks a sure thing to get a place. This is the market for race number three, headed by Muramai Express at the 270 quote, followed by Presaro at 340 and Pounding at 480. The last start effort of Muramai Express at Sandown over this track and distance where she set, jumped away well, settled midfield, made a forward move with the 350 metre mark, chased strong but was no match for the winner who was really running away. And hit the line hard. As long as it's not showing out, she's the one to beat Jamie Carr Sticks, which is a good sign. I'm with Muramai Express to get the chocolates. Titan of Trust is a winning chance, but I'm with Muramai Express pounding in for third. And I'm a Shelby in for fourth. But hopefully Jamie Carr can be at a brilliant best and lift Muramai Express over the line to win. Race 4 is a class 1 over the 1200 metres. Here is the market headed by Netanyahu and Crystal Chief and Savvy Sovereign. This is the last start effort of Bow Knight, where it beat one of my earlier tips in Stagger Together at Pakenham, where he jumped away well and settled in a forward position up on the pace for nearly the whole race and kicked and took the lead in the last 400 metres. The second horse, Stagger Together, tried hard, but the winner was off and gone and won well. I think it goes to the front and is hard to beat. Craig Newick Sticks, I think he'll win. I think it goes to the front and is hard to beat. Craig Newick Sticks, I think he'll win. Cybed for second was good last start. Bonite may, Bonite might be something special though. Grinzinger Prince in for third, and she's original for fourth. But I'm with Bonite to just go to the front and be hard to catch. Race five is a benchmark seventy handicap of the three thousand meters. The market headed by Mr. Blackwood and Mr. Elridge. This is the last start effort of Guns Are Blazing at the Valley over twenty five hundred meters. Jump well, settled third last. Jockey went to work on him before the turn. Dropped away the three hundred and fifty meter mark, and uh, felt the pinch late. But the winner, Dark and Sweet Junior, is a smart horse. Though, to his credit, uh, Guns Are Blazing, credit, he was good at the Valley uh, in his prior start, where he duly bolted it under Damien Oliver. With Guns Are Blazing, I think he's the best bet of the day. I think he's just going to bolt in, because he's very good over the 3,000 metres at his prior attempt at the distance. Artillery Force has won his past four starts, so he's got to go up there. Sir Peter and I, and I rise next best, but Guns Are Blazing to bolt in. Race 6 is a benchmark 64 handicap over the 1600 metres. Here's the market headed by Here to Shock at $3 and closely followed by Mountain Range at the 650 mark. This is the last start effort of Mountain Range at Sandown Hillside. Jump well, uh, settled last. Only, it was only a three horse field though. Travelled well under Jamie Carr. Started riding at the 350 metre mark. Loomed to win and was only beaten by point. 
Ah, point one of a length. To do that, Ben Allen back on board, mountain range. He was only beaten by a small margin in that race. I think if he can sit a little bit further closer, he's going to be very, very hard to beat. Here to shock in for second, Ren in multiple group ones, so he, he is proven, but he's still to prove himself again. Bronze in for third is a good chance, and crew class in for fourth. But I'm with mountain range and Ben Allen, ben Allen to just get over the top. Race 7 is a benchmark 64 handicap over the 1400 metres. Here is the market headed by Ocean's Janet 290 favourite. Closely flooded by Umgawa and Dejumbuck at the $5 quote. This is the last start effort of Umgawa at Flemington. Jumped well, settled last but was comfortable. Pulled out at the top of the straight at around the 220 metre mark and started a forward run. And then it eventually got within three lengths of a smart horse in decent run. If Umgawa repeats that effort, she wins. I've got her on top. I think she's going to bolt in Umgawa. Uh, in for a second is Dejumba. Goes well at Santa and goes well over this distance, at, and particularly at this track. Groovy kind of love is a chance, but I'd like to see her do it first. And our August Rose next best, but I think Umgawa uh, will trot in. Race set is a benchmark 64 handicap over the 1,200 metres to finish the day. This is the marker headed by Manouche as the 380 favourite and Luzuka and Safe Passage at the $6 quote. This is the last start effort of Manouche at Caulfield behind subsequent place getter in Gillette. Jump midfield, sat fifth on settling down. Ollie started riding just before the corner and responded to his riding but laid in a fraction. I think if Manouche can lead or sit outside the leader or just settle closer in the run, I think she'll, she'll win. I think she's a great winning chance. Safe passage in for second is a good horse. Lazuka's the place chance and changing tracks always got to throw her in. She's just so consistent. But I'm with Manouche in the last. Thank you so much for watching my preview of Ladbrokes Park Lakeside. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope I'll find you a winner. I'll be back on Thursday for Corfu. Enjoy.